These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. I'm Faye Fredericks with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Two people are dead after an early morning shooting outside a convenience store in Surprise. Happened outside a quick trip near the 303 in Bell. Police say several people reported hearing gunshots and two people were found outside a car. But police say they're not looking for any suspects. What we want our public to know is there is no threat to the surrounding area. There is no restrictions on any of the traffic with school going on this morning. Uh, and we want to give a big thank you to our community partners in the area. They have been very, very helpful uh, with assisting our investigation. That's how we're able to know that we currently do not have any outstanding suspects. Police not releasing any other information just yet as they investigate what happened. We'll bring you any updates as we get them. Phoenix police investigating after a body is found late last night near 16th Avenue in Van Buren. They say a fire department crew was headed to a call when they saw someone who appeared to be unresponsive. When they stopped, they found the man was already dead with signs of trauma. Police are now investigating how he died. A teenage suspect arrested, accused of shooting three other teens, killing one of them. Police say the suspect, who will not be identified because of the rage, was arrested Sunday. Police say after the arrest, they found evidence linking that person to the shooting. Suspect is booked for murder and aggravated assault. Investigators say that shooting happened near 13th Street in Van Buren just after midnight Saturday morning. Police not yet saying what might have led to the shooting. With six weeks left until Election Day, ABC 15 just confirming Vice President Kamala Harris will return to Arizona this week. Right now, we're working to learn where she'll be. Arizona is a battleground state, and the candidates have campaigned here almost every week for the past several weeks. Former President Donald Trump was just in Tucson less than two weeks ago. New way to fight the flu at home, now approved by the FDA. Agency giving the green light to an at-home version of the flu vaccine that does not involve needles. Instead, it's a nasal spray, like some that are already available at pharmacies. But because it will contain a live but weakened version of the virus, it's not for everyone. So there are certain conditions that are not able to take the flu mess, such as if you're on immune-related medication that suppress your immune system, you have HIV, some, and there's some particular immune-related issues that you'd have to talk to your physician or your clinician to make sure that that vaccine is right for you. Spray won't be available for home use until next flu season, but the stray, spray is available with a prescription in pharmacies and other healthcare settings if you're eligible. COVID is back with a new variant on the rise ahead of the fall and winter seasons. The government is planning to make at-home COVID tests available for free again. By the end of the month, each household will be able to order a new round of four free test kits. Look for more information at covidtest.gov. Arizona State University releasing a report this afternoon detailing how cuts to higher education funding are negatively impacting students. As you says, recent budget cuts will mean a tuition surcharge for on-campus students, lost scholarships, an uncertain future for the Arizona Teachers Academy and the closure of the Lake Havasu Center next summer. University says state budget passed recently reduced its operating investment by $11 million, but with reduced funding for some programs, uh, they estimate the real impact is about $24 million. Significantly more of a mama's boy. He'll go wherever Zuri goes. One of the other guys is a little bit more of a troublemaker. He likes to get into little... Uh, scuffles with his brother and always wants to beat everything up. Definitely sounds like family, right? ABC 15 following up on two editions at the Phoenix Zoo. Voting now closed for Thing 1 and Thing 2's official names. Zoo has narrowed down their names to eight choices from the region of Africa where the Cubs are from. Have to wait a few more weeks to see the Cubs in person. Thing 1 and Thing 2 have a few more milestones to reach, including getting their shots and gathering enough strength to climb the rocks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins tracking your forecast and a sizzling hot week here in the valley. Overnight lows still dropping into the 70s and 80s because the nights are getting longer. But these daytime highs back up above 105. Tomorrow we hit 107 and that is going to be the coolest day of the entire week ahead. As we take a look at Futurecast, high pressure is building in. This is what's going to bring those temperatures up to near 110 degrees as we head toward the end of the week and start of the week. 
weekend. Now that would be the latest 110s we've ever seen here in the city of Phoenix. And excessive heat watches are now in place Wednesday through Saturday. These will likely get upgraded to warnings as we get closer. So all four of those days will be weather action days as a reminder to stay safe in these potentially dangerous temperatures. We've got 110 in your forecast now for Friday and Saturday and a drop back to about 106 by the start of next week.